Welcome back Embers, or if you're new here, welcome to the Campfire Crew. My name is Stone, my pronouns are they, them, and today we are finally getting caught up with my project Level Up. So we are doing update five and six in the same episode because I am so late with filming these. If I'm looking down, it's just at my notebook. And if you don't know, Project Level Up is a project where you randomly select an eyeshadow from your palette or from your collection and then in usual fashion you would pan on level one you would pan one shade and use every other shade at least one time level two you would use every shade at least two times and have two pans i'm doing the light light version so i am just doing the uses and i am on level three and that is my big cheese palette so for Update five, I didn't actually use this palette at all last month, or I guess the month before, but for level four, update five, I didn't actually use this. So we're gonna go straight into level or update six. So this is what my palette looks like last update. And this is what it looks like today. I'm sure you can see many, many differences, but that's what it looks looks like. I'll try and put on in a picture of it. I am very slurred in my words. I haven't filmed in two months, so clearly I'm not used to it anymore. So the first shade, Gouda, was a yellow shimmer shade, and I say was because, as you might be able to tell, that shade is no longer in my palette anymore. I used it one more time for a total of three uses, and on the third use, I realized that the shimmer was too chunky for my liking, and it just didn't really look right on my eyes. I just didn't like the way it sat on my eyes. It was too thick. It was just a weird formula. I didn't like the putty, the process of putting it on. I didn't like the way it looked when I put it on. I'm not opposed to something that makes my eyelids look textured because a lot of shadows do that. And I think from far away, you can't really tell, but it just really bothered me with this shade. It was just like thick. It would stick a lot to certain areas and then not a lot in others. So it wasn't really even. And again, these are probably things that from far away wouldn't matter, but putting it on just made me annoyed. So I ended up getting rid of it. The next shade blue cheese I had used three times in the previous update. Swiss cheese I used two more times this month for a total of three uses so we finally got that. Mozzarella I had already used three times last update. Monterey Jack I used once this month for a total of three uses. Like I said last month and I remember this very well because I finally just edited this edited this like this week. Um, but like I said, last update, I guess it wasn't last month, but last update, it's a yellow. It's a nice yellow. I really like it. It's really pigmented, so I am keeping it. The next shade is String. So this was, there's the one sword again. This was a really bright, like hot pink. And I just, I used it one more time for a total of two uses. And I just hated the way it blended out. I don't feel like it was pigmented enough. And I'm also getting a palette. I, I may have bought myself another palette. I'm not going to open it. I'm not getting it till the end of summer because it's a pre-order. Um, and with shipping time, I'm definitely not getting it till the end of August probably. But I'm not going to open it until at least next spring. Maybe next summer. We'll see how I feel. So I'm not going to be opening it for a while, but there are pinks in there. And I just, string was really disappointing. I couldn't remember. Last update, I remember saying I don't remember like what it was like, but I used it this time and it just didn't look much different from Swiss cheese, but they look so different in the pan. So it was really disappointing to me because I loved the idea of that shade. It looked so pretty in the pan. It just didn't really do anything for me. Um, the next shade is Cheddar. I used that an additional two 
Yes, an additional two times for a total of four uses in this project, actually. It's such a pretty shade. It actually, I like it a lot more than, I think I talked about this last time, but there's a shade in my Carnival 3 palette, which if you don't know, I'm doing a pan that palette as well as Project Level Up this year. And there's a shade in there, Pearl, I believe it is, that's similar to this and another shade that was in this palette that I got rid of last month called Cottage, and they're both more like white-leaning pinks, but this is like a pinky gold kind of shade, and I think it's so pretty. It's really light, but it is really pretty for the inner corner or the inner third of my lid, and I just think it has a really nice undertone, so I really liked that. Emmental? <laughs> I still don't know how to say that word. I used another one time for a total of three uses. I don't remember loving it this time, but I'm still going to keep it because I didn't find anything wrong with the shade in particular. And as I use it more next year when I'm not doing this project anymore, you know, I'll get a better sense of if I do want to keep it, I can still declutter these shades next year. So I only ended up using this palette two more times to get these looks. Um, I used... Yeah, I just used a lot of shades in both of the looks that I was going to do because I only needed to use each shade about one more time before I finished it. There was a couple shades I needed to use two more times, but I ended up just needing two more looks to finish this. Um, so yeah, I definitely could have done it last month, but that's okay. And if you can't tell... I am done with level three of this palette. So again, this is what it looks like. And that means we're rolling in a new My brain just turned off for a second. And because we're finished with the big cheese palette, which overall I have to say, very disappointing. Um, I'm not surprised. It's an iHeart Revolution palette. And I just feel like the formula was good on the shade. It was shades it was good on, but that was not many of the shades. I'll be honest. Um, but now that we're done with that palette, I instead of rolling in a new palette, I'm going to hand select it. I was allowing myself to hand select throughout this year, but I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, so I've been randomly selecting just just cause. Um, but I am going to hand select for the rest of the year. I only have three more palettes left to go. So if you never watched my intro, the point of this is I got a bunch of palettes as handy downs and I wanted to use every shade in them. So I thought a Project Level Up, but a light version would be a good way to do that. Um, there originally was one more palette, but I lost it and I still haven't found it. So until I find that there's only three more palettes and so because we're on level four and five, I figured I would hand select these so I didn't get my biggest palette for level five. Um, so I decided that I would go for my second smallest palette for level four, and that is a nine pan palette by Revolution. Wait. Yeah, by Revolution, but it's not I Heart Revolution, which I think is the sister brand. It's like the original brand. So maybe it'll be better. Maybe it'll be worse. I don't know. Um, but it is one of the Friends X Revolution palettes, and it's the Phoebe palette. It looks like this. And on the inside, let me just cover it with my Davina. On the inside, it looks like this. So you might not be able to see it super well because it is a very, very light palette. And if you know, again, I'll put a picture up. If you know anything about me, if you've been on this channel for a little bit, you might know that this is not really my vibe. I usually go for really bright eyeshadows. Not today, because I actually decided to wear this on my eyes today. I only have one other shadow on my eyes and you're not gonna be able to see it, but I did a little dark eyeliner 
Um, so I already used Smelly Cat, Lobster, Ice, Flaky, and Ditsy on my eyes. Um, and I want to, I'm sure if you've been here before, you will probably know this. Um, but I don't make myself use it the set amount of times I need to before decluttering a shade. If I feel like decluttering it the first time I use a shade and I just hate it, I'm going to declutter it. I don't. Usually I want to finish things up or at least pan things. I want to have a collection that's small and curated enough that I can feasibly at least pan everything I buy right? Preferably use them up. I'm kind of starting to give up on that dream after panning my current palette, I'll admit, but at least pan everything I own and get a lot of use out of it. But because all of the palettes I'm doing in Project Level Up are not palettes that I bought, even though I have them in my collection now, and it does make me feel some kind of responsibility for using them, I just still don't have the same sense of responsibility I would that I do for, let's say, like my Davina palette or any of the palettes I bought myself or I got other people to buy for me. For example, for my birthday, um, I've gotten palettes for my birthday that I specifically asked for. Those palettes I feel a lot of responsibility towards, but palettes I randomly get secondhand I'm just realizing that I don't feel the same sense of responsibility for them, even though maybe I should. I, I'm not sure, but I just don't. That was a weird tangent. Anyway, I haven't seen you guys in a while. Um, so I've already used some of these shades, but yeah, if I don't like a shade on the first time I use it, I'm, I'm not going to keep it just to finish um, my level up. I'm just going to get rid of it as soon as I decide to which is especially relevant. I've been doing it this entire time, this entire project for level two, three, but it's especially relevant because we're getting on level four and five. So I just want you guys to know that there's some of these shades I might use one time and then just get rid of. I already have an idea of some shades I'm going to get rid of out of this palette and I've only used them once. But you know, like I know my taste well enough because I've had my original palettes for I'm at the end of this year it'll be four years um so yeah I know what I like I know what I don't like and um so when I test these palettes like I know and I didn't pick them anyway I know for a fact let's just be honest science boy is going it's a pressed glitter it's really loosely pressed at that and I just my vision's already very bad and I already, like, I have really sensitive eyes. I get eyelashes or dust or anything stuck in my eye and I cry. I cry peeling onions. Like, I cry all the time at any little thing. Uh, my eyes don't need, they're already sensitive. They don't need glitter in them. So I am, I'm not going to use Science Boy, which is um, a silver pressed glitter. I wish this wasn't like an actual glitter. I wish this was a shimmer because I would love a bright metallic shimmer. Are you kidding me? But it's a glitter and I'm just not going to use those because I'm already a sensitive little baby. Um, but yeah, this isn't really my color story. So I can't imagine I'm going to be keeping a lot of these. I'm wearing them today. It's very soft. And yeah, anyway, that's that's a lot of words. I missed you guys, as you might be able to tell by the rambling. Um, but this is my palette for level four. Um, I'm thinking I might be able to get this out pretty soon just based on the fact that I think I'm probably going to get rid of a lot of these shades the first or second time I use them. I don't think it's going to take me a long time to decide on these. So whatever I do keep, I'll obviously use five times, but everything else might just get like, it's a nine pan, but actually I'm not using this. So it's an eight pan. And I can't imagine keeping all of these shades so it's really going to reduce the amount of actual uses I'm going to get on this palette so it might actually go much more quickly than expected let's hope um but yeah we'll we'll see if there's anything I want to keep from this palette because yeah I'm not actually sure I'm going to keep anything 
We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I, it might surprise me. Things have surprised me in the past, but um, yeah. I will see you guys next time. I promise not to leave for two months anymore. I promise. No fingers crossed here. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. I'll actually edit, edit this video on time and film stuff on time. And <sighs> I've been gone for a while. Anyway, love you guys. I'll see you for my next video. I'm going to film uh, my project pan literally tomorrow. And I'll see you then. Bye, guys. Oh, my gosh. I totally forgot to tell you guys about pan percentage. And I have many pan percentages to tell you about because I didn't update it last time. So in March, I believe I told you the pan percentage. April, I went down two um, shades in my Big Cheese palette, which is the palette I was working on. So I went down from 123 shades down to 121 shades. And I hit three new pans, which is incredible. So my pan percentage went from 21.95 to 24.79%, going up the biggest jump this year at 2.84%. Then the next month in May, I did not get rid of any shades because I, again, did not use my pan that palette, which is how I get rid of shades. So I still had 121 but I panned one shade for a total of 31 pans. So I ended up having a pan percentage of 25.62%. So I went up 0.83% in my pan percentage, which was the worst of the entire year so far. And then this month, I went down two more shades from 121 to 119, also from the Big Cheese palette. So I got rid of four from the palette I was working on this month, or this for level three. And I got one more pan for 32 pans in total, which means my pan percentage is now, and this is this month's pan percentage, 26.89, so almost 27%, and it went up 1.27%. So yeah, now I'm at 26.89, almost 27% for my pan percentage. And I think it's just going to go up even more this month because I, like I said, think I'm going to get rid of a lot of shades. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye.